What is up guys, my name is Daryl, and today I'm gonna to show you all a really cool third-party plugin for the Divi theme. Now, this plugin allows you to create beautiful overlays and pop-ups with your WordPress website. And the great part about this plugin is that you can fully decorate this page to make it look like anything that you would want. And this is pretty helpful if you guys are trying to like match the decor of your website. And it has a lot of different triggers. So right here, you can like click a button, it'll pop up. If you scroll down, it'll pop up. If you click on this text, it'll pop up. But there's a lot of really cool things. And I'm just kind of covering the tip of the iceberg with this plugin. But another really cool feature is like the scroll effect. So for example, right here, if someone's scrolling on your website, they will get this pop-up right here. And this is a template you will also receive. And this is kind of cool because it's like a it's like a sense of urgency. Like you're almost done, go ahead and sign up. And this really converts well. I've seen this on a lot of other websites. Now, another really cool feature about this plugin is called the exit intent feature. Now, let's say for example, I'm shopping on the website. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and check some stuff out. So right here we have memberships. And let's say I'm not really sure about the price. You know, it's maybe kind of expensive. I'm looking at the product. I'm like, you know what? I just can't afford this right now. As I go and scroll over right here, the plugin knows this and it actually triggers a pop-up. And right here, you kind of convince your audience saying, hey, you know, before you leave, we'll give you 50% off. And companies like HostGator.com use this same exact uh, marketing technique. So you're basically copying the big guys. So you're gonna be doing exactly what big companies like HostGator are doing. Now, I got another bonus for you guys. You guys will also receive a exclusive discount on this plugin by watching this tutorial. Now, by clicking on the link in the description, you guys will also receive 10% off any of the plans over at Divi Life. So this is the current plugin. It's called Divi Overlays. And it has a lot of positive customer reviews. You know, a lot of people use it. They like it. You can see right here, a lot of people are buying it. And they have different license types. So the single side, three sides, unlimited. I'd probably go for the unlimited, you know, but if you are like a big fan and use it all the time, I would probably go for a lifetime. But for starters, I'd probably just do, you know, just unlimited. So right here, I'm gonna go to add to the cart. And I'm gonna go ahead and view the cart. Now I have already purchased this plugin. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and close this right here. Now, right here, you see the coupon is applied at checkout. So you do receive a small discount at checkout. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can use this step-by-step -step from scratch. So I'm gonna go to my website right here and actually show you guys exactly how this works. Now, the first thing you guys will have to do is go to your account, go to your downloads, I believe. Is it downloads? I think it's dashboard. Yeah, it's gonna be, oh no, I'm sorry, your API downloads. API downloads, so once you guys purchase this, you'll be brought to your dashboard, and then right here, you'll just click on download. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and download it right now. Now also, there are like two templates, and I'll talk more about that in just a little bit, but I kinda wanna give you guys like, you know, the familiars and the basics. But I kinda wanna give you guys like the basics of the plugin. So going over here, I'm gonna go to my dashboard. Now the first thing you have to do is actually activate it. So going over here to settings, DV overlay activation. So over here, you go ahead and put your API key and your API email. So this can be found, this, I'm gonna close this right here. This can be found right here under the API keys and you know with the email that you use to sign up with, you would just go ahead and put that in right there. Once you're done, you go to save changes. All right, all right, so basically, congratulations. You got it installed, woo, awesome. All right, but of course you guys have to go to plugins first and you know upload it. So I'm sure you guys know how to do that. I'm not gonna really go over that, but um, so anyways, you get this new little tab right here that says DV overlays. Now I have three overlays. So right here, I have one for the button. I have one when someone tries to leave my website. And then I have one when I scroll down. And guys, these are really easy to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now. So the first one we'll do is like the text one, the really basic one. So going over here to add new, I'm gonna do, See right here, contact us pop-up. And then right here, I'll go to use the Divi Builder. Now over here, guys, they actually have like uh, two templates over here in the downloads. So right here is like one for just the one I showed you before, the, the light blue one. And this right here is the progress bar. So they do give you two templates to use. So if you click on unzip right here or click on download, whatever, it gives you the zip file. Now, once you get that zip file, you open it and there'll be a .json file. All right, you take that .json file, you click on this right here, and you go to import. Now, I have already opened up that zip file, so I'm gonna go to choose file, and I'm gonna go ahead and find the file right here. So it is, I think I passed it, it's right here. Duh. Don't you hate that when you like scroll down, it's like right in front of your face. So right here, import Divi Builder Layout. All right, so right now, we are creating the pop-up where someone clicks on it, then it'll kind of pop up at us, okay? 
So I'm gonna close this. All right, so I have the text right here. So right here you put something like, um, you know, put whatever you want. So contact us now. And then right here you put something like, we always love to hear. We always love to hear from our customers. I'm sure that's true, you know. I, I love getting emails from people like, oh, I need help. My, like, <laughs> you know. So anyways, let's go ahead and add a contact form. Let's add a contact form right there, right? And save and exit. And there's like different animations you guys can do. Like there's slide, there's little boxes, there's genie. You know, I haven't done any of these yet, so I'm just taking a gamble. I'm just gonna do simple genie. I have no idea what it's gonna look like, okay? So publish. All right, so let's say for example, you wanna insert it on a piece of text. Now to do that, there actually is a section you'll have to put in. So this section right here, you're gonna go ahead and copy and paste. So right here, I'll put this in the link in the description. It's also in the overlay section, like the, the documentation, but I'll just go ahead and link it to you guys just so you know where to get it. So this is only for text, okay? So we're not gonna do buttons yet. So right here, I'm gonna go, okay, let's go ahead and add it to my page now. So all pages, I'm going to go ahead and do the home page. All right, so I have this text module right here and I'm just going to add it right there. So click for discount. Now I'm just gonna delete all this and paste it in there. Now, I need to actually get the ID. So this has 940, so I need to actually go in and get the ID from that overlay. So you can find that by going to Divi Overlays. Now you see where it says the overlay ID number? So the one that I just made was this one right here, 928. So simply go ahead and just put 928, and you're done. And this thing could be something like, um, click here for discount. And this can be used for like a coupon website. You know, if you want to offer like uh, coupons, I mean, there's so many different things you can use a plugin for. It's all about your imagination. So I'm gonna go ahead and go update. Now let's go ahead and see what happens. All right, so view page. Okay, so scrolling down here. So right here up, I missed that. So click here for discount. Now you can put this anywhere, guys. So it can be like even like a, a header text or anything. So if I click on it, you see that it kind of pops up and opens up. Okay, now again, you guys can change the color for this. You can change uh, anything that you would like for it, you know? So I just decided, you know, just to leave it, you know, stock. But, um, so that's what I made. Now let's just say, for example, you wanna add it to your button. So right here, I have one for Let's Talk. But let's just say, for example, I wanna add this one to be this one as well, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and enable the Visual Builder. All right, now I'm gonna go to this button. It's really simple. You can do this for you know any or anyone. So I'm gonna go to the button right here. Now right here for the open URL, I put little the number sign and then put open. And for the CSS ID right here, the overlay unique ID, all you need to do is go ahead and simply grab it from this one. So right here, whatever it is, you're gonna put that right there. So right here, copy this. No, I'm sorry, the CSS ID. So make sure it's the CSS ID, not the menu ID. Uh, there is another pop-up for menus, guys, but I'm not going to cover in this tutorial. They have tons of documentation, so I'm just like I said, guys. I'm just I'm just covering the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot this plugin can do. So over here, under the uh, CSS ID, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right there. All right, and save. And if everything works properly, it's going to now show that gray pop-up that we created. It's a Visual Builder. All right, scrolling down here and right here, click on Learn More. And voila. So again, this is really helpful if you want to sort of sell people something or like contact us or it just looks better, you know? It just looks much cleaner than like a contact form. It's so much easier because it pops up in front of your face. Bam, 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 submit, done, you know? So let's go ahead and do another one. Let's go ahead and now do the scroll activation one. So dashboard, DV overlays, and let's go ahead and add new. So this right here is scroll activation. How do you spell? <laughs> I just wait for autocorrect. You know, I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. So, all right, so use Divi Builder. And remember, there is also another um, template for you guys. So remember before we downloaded the first one, so the other one is in your account. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. So import, choose the file, and simply go ahead and go to the subscribe with progress bar. And again, that's available in your account under downloads. So importing. It's really light too, you know, it really like, it just goes really fast. So scroll activation. And guys, this actually, you might want to strategically paste this, place this. So I'm gonna select one of these random ones. And then right here, 
you have the automatic triggers. So basically saying, do you want to have a time delay, which means seconds. So you can actually trigger this by seconds. Now, the reason why I don't recommend seconds all the time, because maybe those people click really fast, you know, like click, 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 and they don't really have the chance to be sold on something. But the scroll percent is saying, if someone scrolls a thousand pixels to whatever, then it's gonna show up, all right? And again, like if you can put a thousand to like 2000, so it'll appear from 1000 and it'll end somewhere else, but I'll just put 1000 right here, all right? And what pages do you want this on? Well, usually you'd want this on a sales page or a page that you want to kind of convince people to like, you know, free ebook, right? Free ebooks are always good. So right here, I'll put something like, um, I'll just put all pages, all right? But you can have it for any page. All right, so publish. All right, now let's go ahead and go to visit site. And that's a really easy way to set it up. So let's go ahead and scroll down, scrolling down. Bam, there you go. So remember, I scrolled to a thousand pixels and as a result, this pop-up will show up, okay? So that was basically two of them. Now let's go ahead and create another one. Now I wanna show you all the exit intent one. That's a really cool feature as well. So over here, I'm gonna go to my dashboard and we're gonna create a brand new one. So going over here to Divi overlays and going to add new. And this one will be like escape, escape overlay. And then we'll just, you know, I'm feeling good today. We'll make our own, you know? Do I have any library? No. So we'll, we'll make our own here. We'll do something like, um, I don't know, I'll put something right here, like a header text. It's right here. It's, I haven't used the Divi theme in a while, so let's see right here. It's on my own, my, my, my own website too. You you know, it's like, uh, you would think I use it all the time. So right here, I'll do something like, um, get the deal. And then I'll go ahead and make this a header one text and I'll center it. And then right here, you can add in like buttons or a call to action, an image. So I'll go ahead and just add in like, um, I'll just add in like an image, you know, something simple. This guy, he's, he's happy, you know, so. And then we'll add in like a button. Or buy now. And then right here, we'll set this to open. Okay. And then I believe, actually, no, we'll set this to uh, something else. Sorry. This is just, um, I don't know, whatever button you want this to go to, I'll just do, um, I don't know, you can put it to, I'll just leave it like that for now. All right. And then save and exit. All right. So we basically made this pop up for someone who is trying to leave the website. All right. And then I'll just give it a different color now. You know, we'll change it up. So right here, automatic triggers. Right here, we have the exit intent. So if someone tries to leave, you can also set this on specific pages. I recommend that because, or put it on specific pages because you don't want it to be on every single page. That would just be really annoying, you know? So you kind of have to kind of control it a little bit. So right here, I'll go to publish. Actually, you know what? Let's change this. Let's check out Genie. I haven't seen that one yet. All right. So I set it for all pages, but again, you'd want to set it for specific pages. So I'm gonna go to visit sites. Now I'm gonna slowly scroll up to leave the website. And as I leave, voila, so this thing pops up, the get the deal, the image, and then the button right there, okay? So it's a really helpful plugin if you guys are trying to get conversions. There's so many different ways and there's other tutorials on it that he has. Uh, the guy's name is Tim Streifler and he's like a, he makes like uh, other Divi child themes. He has like a website where he sells a bunch of stuff. So you can like shop his Divi products. I don't think that coupon code is good for anything else besides Divi overlays, but he also has like a um, uh, a child theme he sells and he does like, he has like another website where he does like a, a web developing and stuff. So if you guys need help with something like web, you know, Divi problems or something's not working with your website, give him a, you know, contact saying, hey dude, you know, this guy on YouTube, so-and-so. And, -so. and um, you know, he actually helps build websites because I know a lot of people email me wanting to build websites. I, I don't do web development, but this guy does. So maybe you can contact him and, you guys can work something out, you know, and, you know, try to, try to lowball them, you know, like, Hey, uh, you know, give me a discount. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't do that. You know, I'm just kidding. So anyways, guys, it's a, it's a great plugin. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of technology. The guy really did a good job making it. So be sure to check out the plugin. And again, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put in the comments. You guys can also email him directly and just say, Hey dude, you know, can you, you know, help me with this? Or if you have a problem with TV or, you know, I don't know if he does that, but uh, just check out his website. You know, he has a lot of good stuff and he's a good guy. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys all later.